Good morning, friends. So this morning, I wanted to briefly talk about praying in tongues. I know it's quite a controversial thing. Um, and let me give you my reason for why I believe praying in tongues is such a powerful thing. Number one, I'll give a caveat that I did not pray in tongues for years. I grew up in a Pentecostal background and would constantly be like, oh my gosh, why can't I pray in tongues? Like everybody can do it and I cannot. And I felt like some kind of junior Christian for some reason. I do believe you can pray powerful prayers without praying in tongues. But when you pray in tongues, it's, it's a different type of prayer. So um, I was doing my morning devotions one day and the Holy Spirit instructed me to pray in tongues that morning. I do a morning walk and I usually talk to God or I pray on the way, but the Holy Spirit was just like pray in tongues because there are people out there in the world who need prayer desperately, but they don't know to pray about their issue. They might not be believers. And secondly, they don't know how to pray. But because you are somebody who prays and knows how to pray, who knows how to bring your requests to your Heavenly Father, you need to pray on their behalf. Well, how do I know how to pray for these people if I don't know their requests? When I'm speaking in tongues, when I'm praying in tongues, I am praying the will of the Father. And sometimes I'm aware that I am praying about things that I'm not fully understanding, even when I'm not like, even when I'm not sure exactly the content of what I'm praying, I will know that the spirit of what I'm praying is a, a di different kind of prayer. So that morning when I was praying on my morning walk, I'm, I'm not even concerned about how this might make me sound a little kooky or whatever. I'm fine with it. On my morning walk, I was praying. And as I was praying, my heart was burdened, burdened. And like to the point where I was praying in tongues and tears were coming to my eyes. And I knew I was praying in tongues, a prayer of desperation that somebody had. Um, I have a feeling I might know um, the kind of prayer I was praying, like what I was praying about, but I didn't know because I was simply praying in tongues. So I feel like praying in tongues is such a powerful thing because when I was going on my morning walks, every other day when I was praying, I was praying very selfish prayers about myself. I had things going on in my life that I was like, Lord, help me. My prayers were not sophisticated. They were not um, super drawn out or whatever. I knew that I was praying the same thing over and over again. Praying in tongues adds a variety, a spice to your prayer because um, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit prays for you with moans and groans you cannot understand, but also um, Jesus is interceding for you at the right hand of the Father. So those things in tandem, sometimes um, we know what not to, we know not what we ought to pray for, but the Holy Spirit can pray for us. And so there have been times where I started to pray for a situation, but knew that I had a bias in my mind and knew like, oh, I'm going to pray for this thing wrongly because I have like a selfish angle to my prayer, or maybe I'm not seeing the whole big picture. And so I would say like, Holy Spirit, help me to pray for this correctly. And I think a lot of times people shy away from the Holy Spirit, shy away from speaking in tongues because it's like, oh, it's it's too erratic, it's too, like, ah, I don't really know, it's sounding like it's going into some weird place. But it's powerful because it's a great form of surrender. You're saying, God, I trust you. I trust the Holy Spirit enough working in me that I can surrender my, my prayers to you, right? I have every right to come and make my request known to God but instead, I have decided I'm going to surrender my prayer to God and say, God, whatever ought to be prayed for, for me, for the people in my life, for people I don't even know, I trust that you will give me the words by your spirit to pray for those things. So I just wanted to pause and say that because when I started speaking in tongues, probably, honestly, y'all, probably like four years ago, I've been a Christian all of my life. I was born and came to the church for dedication like days after, but I just started speaking in tongues and it's helped me with intercession because when I am praying in tongues and sometimes I, when I'm doing regular prayer and I'm just like, you know, God, thank you so much for today. Like sometimes my prayers sound basic, but when I started praying in tongues, I would be like be able to pray because it's really the embodiment of you being a vessel for God, right? You using your body, you using your mind, um, your tongue as a vessel to send out prayers that need to be prayed when you think about it that way there are prayers that need to be prayed that might never be prayed um unless somebody opens their mouth to do it and so i'm willing to let my prayers be the prayers that god uses to 
to impact change. Um, and so, yes, I do pray. Um, I do pray in my natural tongue in English, but I also find that praying in tongues has been so powerful for me. It helps me also when I'm interceding in my real um, natural language and I'm praying for people. It's a very specific type of intercession that I can do. Like, ooh, because I've been praying in tongues, um, I'm willing to go the extra mile and pray for this person. And I know that because God hears me when I pray, my prayers don't always have to be super elaborate. It can be a prayer prayed in faith because the word of God says the prayers of a righteous man or woman availeth much. And I'm not saying it's because I'm righteous. I'm borrowing the righteousness of Christ. I am the righteousness of Christ. So because of that, my prayers will be heard by God. Right? So I just wanted to say that if you have been really shying away from praying in tongues or the Holy Spirit in general, the Holy Spirit is such a partner to have. You don't have to do Christianity perfectly. God is giving you a helper, a helper to help you overcome the schemes of the enemy, overcome um, things that you just think you can't do in your own power. God knows that life is hard. And so as human beings, he doesn't just leave us out there figuring that by ourselves. The Holy Spirit is meant to be our partner, our partner in this walk called life. All right, y'all, I'm on my way to Easter service. So I pray that you have a phenomenal day. I pray that the Holy Spirit encounters you in a way that is real and relevant to the situations in your life. Bye, y'all. I love you. See you later. Bye.